p.m., you can score those discounted Petty tickets for the second night, August 1st. Hi, Campbell uh, called us right when those shows were going on sale, and we talked about a variety of topics, including the Boys of Summer, which he'd originally offered to Tom Petty. I heard that Boys of Summer was a song you had the music for, presented it to Tom. It didn't quite work, but you didn't have lyrics, and Don came up with the lyrics. Is that somewhat accurate? That's somewhat accurate. I had a, a piece of music that was uh, the same except for the chorus, and I was sitting with uh, Tom and Jimmy Ivy at the time, and I played it for them to go. Yeah, that sounds really good, but that one bit, I don't know, it's a little jazzy or whatever. So they left, and I thought, oh, they're right, you know, so I kind of put a different section in there, and then Jimmy called me later and said, you still have that song. It's a Don Henley and friend of mine is looking for material. So when I played it for Don, it was the same except for a new chorus, which is actually much better, so I should thank Tom for pointing that out. <laughs> but Don was great. He took the track, he wrote the words, and called me back that afternoon, and was all excited about it. It's turned out to be a good song. So the initial, I don't know if you felt a slight rejection when Tom passed on it, but it really turned out to be one door closed, but a, a much better one open. True. He said to me a couple of years later, he said, you know, I wish I would have had the presence to grab that number. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that. So Tom uh, passed on Boys of Summer. The great line, I saw a deadhead sticker on a Cadillac. My mom died and she left me her Cadillac, which was several years old, but my buddies drove it out from California out here and I drove it till it ran into the ground. It was called the Cosmic Glider. And one of the first things I did was get a deadhead sticker and slap it right on there. Uh, and that, it was a conversation with Mike Campbell of the incredible uh, if often underrated guitar player from the Heartbreakers. The entire conversation is available as a podcast at uh, WMR.com. Fascinating guy. And still to come, we will have a conversation uh, probably next week now with uh, Tom Petty. We don't, uh, it's been a little elusive, but somewhere down the line we're going to have that. We will take a break, come back in a moment. Uh, one more piece of Rush coverage will be coming, and uh, we'll tell you also about this wonderful weekend we have in store for you. 